Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to create a quiz within Google Forms. Now I have a full tutorial showing you everything you need to know about Google Forms. I'll link that down below in the description of the video if that's something you're interested in. But today we're gonna to be creating a quiz within Google Forms. So the first thing that you're gonna to want to do is log into your Google account and then open up Google Forms. You can go to docs.google.com slash forms. And then if you're logged in, you should see this page here where you can create a blank form or create from templates. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a blank form to create our quiz from. And then as you can see, this is what a blank form looks like. Now, in order to turn this into an actual quiz that we can grade uh, and give students and, and people who are taking the quiz a, a score, is we need to go up to the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner there and then the third tab there that says quizzes, we just select the quizzes tab. And then it's as simple as just checking the make this a quiz box at the upper uh, center of the tab there. And you can see it's now a quiz. Uh, and then quiz options here, we can release grade immediately after each submission or later uh, if you want to manually review and submit the score that way. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on immediately after submission. And then respondent or the person who's taking the quiz, they can see their missed questions, they can see their correct answers, and then the point values. You can uh, select or deselect these uh, if you want your students to see those. So once we've set up our quiz here, go ahead and click the save button in the lower right hand corner. Now. I'm not going to show you how to customize this visually because it's really up to you how you want your quiz to look. Uh, it's as simple as going up to the uh, the customize theme or customize option here, and then you can see we can change the theme color, we can change the background color to be different, uh, and we can even change the font style to be uh, more formal or playful, uh, you know, d just depending on how we want the quiz to look. Uh, and again, we can have a header image, we can choose that here under theme options as well. Now, in order to go ahead and start our quiz, uh, to get it to look something like this, as you can see here, I have an untitled form or untitled quiz here. Uh, you can see I have a, a question number one, and then I have four multiple choice options, and then I have an actual answer key that has the right answer selected. In order to do that, what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and give your quiz a name. So you can see we've given our quiz a name, and then you can give the quiz a description. And then once you've given your quiz a, a title and a description, you now can begin inserting questions and answer keys. So what we're gonna want to do is under the first question here where it says untitled question, go ahead and select right there where it says untitled question and all of your options for this question will come available to you. So now what we're gonna want to do is go ahead and insert the first question. As you can see, our first question is, what day is it today? And then what we're going to want to do is go ahead and add some answers. And over on the right-hand side, under this drop-down here, you can see the different types of answers that you can have your students give. There's multiple choice, there's short answer, there's paragraph. And again, depending on what type of quiz you are creating, uh, you can select the different options here on that drop-down menu. So we're gonna select and choose multiple choice for this specific quiz. And then you can see here we have option one, and then we can add an option or add other as an option. So what we're gonna want to do is go ahead and give option one a name. I'm gonna go ahead and give us four different options here. And as you can see, I now have four different selections or options for the student to select. Now, today's date is Thursday, so Thursday is the correct answer. So in order to submit what the correct answer is for your quiz, go ahead and click on the answer key, which is in the lower left-hand corner there, and then just select the correct answer. It'll put a green check mark beside that, and you'll then need to go ahead and give how many points this question is worth. Uh, and so basically, I'm gonna have four questions on my quiz, and I want my total points to equal up to be 100. And again, your grading scale may be different than mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this question worth 25 points, like so. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click done. And that will go ahead and give your question a, a point value as well as a correct answer. So you're seeing this from the back end as someone creating the quiz. If you wanna see what this looks like from your student's perspective, you can click the eye icon, the one that says preview here, next to the customization options, and that will show you exactly what the quiz is going to look like when you send it to your students. As you can see, it has the question name, the quiz name and description, as well as how many points this question is worth. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the correct answer for this question, go ahead and submit that question, uh, and then as you can see here, I can click view score, and it lets me know I've gotten 25 out of 25 points, and yes, that was the correct answer. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to create another question. So in order to do that, what we're going to want to do is on the addition symbol here where it says add question, we're going to just click that there. Now, anytime we want to navigate to and from different questions, we can just click inside that question and that will take us to the edit box to allow us to customize or change that question uh, to be a different answer or different question or if it's something that we need to add or remove. So I'm going to go ahead and add another question here. All right, so I've added another question here. And then as you can see, Google Forms actually has suggestions for what the answer is, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a different type of question. Uh, I'm going to give them a short answer, okay? So for this question, the different type of answer is going to be uh, allowing them to type in a short answer. So it's not going to allow them to type in an essay or multiple paragraphs, just a few words or a sentence to answer this question. So what month is it? So the only answer here uh, is going to be whatever the month is in, in the particular time that you send them this quiz. So what we're going to want to do is go ahead and go to the answer key here and we're going to add a correct answer. So the correct answer to this question is October. So I go ahead and type in October into the answer key. Uh, and then what I'm going to do now is click on done. So if I do that, I can see now that the correct answer to this question is October. Now, if you ever want to remove a question or you ever want to delete an option uh, in a question, what you would do is you would just go to that question and then now you can see there is an X right there. So if we add another one here, there's an X over here to the right of that option, click that there and that will remove that option from that question. Now, if you ever want to remove an entire question or move the questions around, what you would do then is just click the uh, delete or trash can option here, and that would remove that question entirely from your quiz. So in order to move questions around within the quiz, if you want to rearrange the questions, what you would do is select the top of the box here, click and hold, and then drag that above or below the questions and order them in the way that you want them to be ordered. Before I close out of this video, I do want to let you know that Again, you can create as many questions as you want. You can create the point total to be whatever you want it to be. Uh, but then once you're ready to go, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to give this quiz a, a name here. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a name as quiz 2001. And then in order to share this or send this to your students, you'll go up to where you see send right here. So send, what I normally do is get the link. So you can see here, here is the link to this and I can actually shorten that URL, make it much shorter uh, and much uh, prettier per se when you send that link and then go ahead and click copy. Now I can go to my Google Classroom, I can put that link there in my Google Classroom, I can uh, you know, put a list of email addresses if it's just a few students and I can link it that way, or I can link it anyway uh, via text message, WhatsApp, however you want to send this quiz via your website, you can just embed or take that link here and put it wherever you want it to send this quiz to your students. Now, again, if you wanted to, you can always go over here and customize your quiz. You can add a video, you can add images, you can add titles and descriptions, you can import questions from other quizzes. But again, this is how you create a basic quiz within Google Forms, and I hope this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to help me out by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more great tech tutorials just like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.